Hello, this is Hakuna Bean, and today we are going to be reading SCP-2396. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Item number, SCP-2396. Object class USB Keter is now considered Euclid. Special Containment Procedures Used to be that SCP-2396 was to be contained in Provisional Site-2396. Original Site-2396 would only, would only be staffed by employees who identify as a woman in any capacity, until a method of neutralizing SCP-2396's effect could be found. There would be no attempt to have it, it move from the there would be no attempt to move from this site. SCP-2396 would be, be given a single liter of glucose syrup a day. All male identified civilians found within a 6 km radius around the original site 2396 are to be detained and screened for contact with SCP 2396A. Any civilian found to be compromised or is to be terminated before, coming, before becoming an instance of SCP 2396B. All SCP 2396B instances encountered in the wild are to be terminated. Due to SCP-2396's current location, all terminated individuals are to be given a standard lost hiker cover story. Any civilians who witness an instance of SCP-2396-B are to be administered Class B amnestics. SCP-2396-A instances are to be incinerated immediately. All areas in a 6km radius around unprovisional site-2396 are to be closely monitored at all times for SCP 2396A instances by Containment and Task Force Lambda 6, also known as Girly Girls. If an instance of SCP 2396B is located, CTF Lambda 6 is to be called in to enact termination procedures. As with additional site 2396, CTF Lambda 6 is to be staffed only with task force operatives who identify as a woman in any capacity. All containment, all containment efforts are to be oriented toward finding a way to neutralize SCP-2396's area of effect to facilitate containment. Well, this has been changed to be just the, a single paragraph which we'll read right now. SCP-2396 is to be housed in standard humanoid containment cell in the low security wing of Site-19. Daily, SCP-2396 is to be given a single liter of liquid sucralose, it believes to be sugar. For ease of containment, all staff interacting with it are to identify as women in, in, in some capacity. No other precautions are necessary. Description: SCP-2396 is a female humanoid, approximately two and a half meters tall and weighing 101 kilograms. <sighs> SCP-2396 is identical to a baseline female a human in appearance, with the exception of naturally occurring pink hair and irises. The words "Miss Sweetie" from *Little Misses* by Dr. Wondertainment are tattooed along the outside of SCP-2396's left eye. When denied sugar, or rather any food item identified as containing sugar, SCP-2396 claims to undergo great pain, necessitating a constant supply of sugar or food items identified as such. The amount of sugar is unimportant in maintaining its anomalous effect. The consumption of sugars in any amount will cause SCP-2396's blood sugar level to reach a constant level of approximately 400 mg per deciliter. As a reminder, the norm for, for most humans is around 70 mg per deciliter. 70 to 100, I think I've heard. Due to its abnormally high blood sugar levels, the object is or was in a containment in a constant state of hyperglycemia, starting to suffer from constant headaches and blurred visions. 
Despite its conception of food, SCP-2396 does not exhibit any excretory bodily functions or change in weight. While SCP-2396 is fueled with sugar, any male individual who is currently who is not currently an SCP-2396B instance. Coming within 50 yards of her expresses a strong desire to leave and reorientate, reorient, reorient their position as far from SCP-2396 as possible. Male identified individuals brought in direct contact with SCP-2396 undergo symptoms similar to a diabetic coma. The object claims that this is to keep nasty brothers and their friends away. SCP-2396-A are, are small instances are small objects comprised of simple sugars that resemble assorted colors of hard candy. SCP-2396-A instances appear anywhere within a 6 km radius of SCP-2396's current location, with a greater density appearing in areas known to contain human traffic. Due to their size and the larger area of SCP-2396's area of effect, placement and amount of SCP-2396-A is uncertain. The production of SCP-2396-A is known to increase when an SCP-2396 undergoes stress. While SCP-2396-A objects are harmless when touched or ingested by female-identified humans, Male identified humans undergo a tr gradual transformation to an instance of SCP 2396 B. SCP 2396 B instances. Where was I? Hang on. Okay. SCP 2396 B instances take the form of large humanoid constructs and rarely unicorns. Once an SCP 2396 B entity has been fully converted, it will make way toward SCP 2396 and attempt to breach its containment. SCP 2396 B entities show a strong resilience towards blunt force trauma and exhibit abnormal strength. SCP 2396 B entities will attack any male identified individuals in their line of sight. SCP 2396 B entities follow any commands given by any female identity defied individual, including orders to stand down, and are most easily terminated with fire, whether or through incinerator or flamethrower. SCP-2396 is for reduction of SCP-2396-A and its effects act on male-identified individuals when it is not ingested in sugar for longer than 48 hours. At this time, the blood sugar level stays at a constant 10 mg per deciliter. Due to the similarity between the effects of hyperglycemia and hypoglycemia, as given in, in SCP-2396, the object is unable to recognize the difference when given a similar amount of artificial sugars. Interview 2396-5 This was the fifth interview with the object while in containment. SCP-2396 had been administered sucralose instead of its usual sugar for a week as of that time. For the sake of containment and gaining information, SCP-2396 was made to believe that it was still creating instances of SCP-2396-A and SCP-2396-B. Good morning, SCP-2396. Oh, come on, Uncindy. You don't have to be all stuffy with your best gal. Alright, SCP-2396. Are you aware another SCP-2396-B attempts to breach your containment? That's just boys. I just gotta be making a big stink of things when they, they want to get at your attention. Ain't it always like that? 
Never mind, always avoids, always beating up their friends when they think they're getting too close. The man's always got to have his hands busy, or else they're going to be in the air. They seem to be concentrating on taking you away from here. Are you unhappy here, SCP-2396? A woman ain't happy anywhere, isn't that what they say? I am not aware of any such saying. It should be one. I don't know, Lucy. I think it's just become as every gal wants a big strong lug to sweep her off her feet. And these are sweet boys deep down, even if they're sticky. I'm sure they sweep you off your feet too, if your girls ask. Then what about the instances that resemble unicorns? Don't you just love unicorns? All little girls love unicorns. You can eat them too when, and you get bored. Little girls get bored. It's good to have boys and unicorns you can eat when you're finished. Isn't that a little reductive? Look, Tits, I'm a girl's toy, and it's a man's world. What do you want from me? Is that why you're a pale man? Because you're a girl's toy? Dr. W didn't like it when boys break their sister's toys. Told me it was as damn near the worst thing in the world. And they can't break me. They can't even come near me. Well, except if they're, you know, all sweet and handsome. And you're happy with the way things are. Dr. W's good in my book. I always had a sweet tooth and I always wanted to be a girl. Kind of of an okay trade-off, if you ask me. You guys ain't so bad, though, even if the food's rubbish. Don't know how you mess up sugar's era, but you guys make it taste like crap. When prompted, SCP-2396 claimed to have lost any certification, or was able to recite the following in full. Hang on. 2284 is... Never mind. Okay, let's continue. When prompted, SCP-2396 claimed to have lost any certification but was able to recite the following in full. Wow! You've just found yourself your, your very own little mister. A limited edition collection from um, Dr. Wondertainment. Find them all and become Mr. Collector! O1, Mr. Chameleon. O2, Mr. Headless. O3, Mr. Laugh. O4, Mr. Forgetful. O5, Mr. Shapey. O six, Mr. Soap. O seven, Mr. Hungry. O eight, Mr. Brass. O nine, Mr. Hot. Ten, Miss Sweetie. Eleven, Mr. Life and Mr. Death. Twelve, Mr. Fish. Thirteen, Mr. Moon. Fourteen, Mr. Red. Discontinued. Fifteen, Mr. Money. Sixteen, Mr. Or Lost. Seventeen, Redacted. Eighteen, Mr. Mad. 19, Mr. Scary, and 20, Mr. Stripes. We happen to have, this is the document of 10. Of notice that SCP-2396 relies every punctuation mark and is spoke of 2284's title as a long ex exhalation of air. I don't know who 2284 is, but I'm guessing it's whatever 17 is. Oh, it is. I think it's also Mr. Lie. 
Oh well. Anyway, that was SCP-2396, also known as Miss Sweetie. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!